Kate Middleton attracted all the male attention at school and all the boys fancied her rotten according to her former school friend. The Duchess of Cambridge quickly became one of the most sought-after girls despite a turbulent beginning to life at Marlborough College in Wiltshire. School fiend Gemma Williamson said every boy in school fancied her rotten at the £12,605 a term boarding school. However, prior to that Kate experienced great difficulty during her school life and only joined the prestigious institution midway through the academic year in 1996 after being bullied at Down House, an all-girls boarding school in Berkshire. Ems Williamson also revealed that Kate didn't have much confidence when she first arrived. She added, Apparently she had been bullied very badly and she certainly looked thin and pale. She had very little confidence. Kate's house tutor Joan Gall said, when she arrived she was very quiet. Coming into a big school like Marlborough was difficult, but she settled in quickly. Along with beauty and brains the 36-year-old also excelled in field hockey and cross-country running before attending St. Andrews University. It was there in Fife. Scotland where she caught the attention of her future husband Prince William and the pair began dating in 2003. It is widely reported Kate captured the Duke of Cambridge's heart during an extravagant student fashion catwalk. Where a startled young prince was in the audience and did not know where to look as Kate stepped out in a very revealing mesh, see-through dress. The Duchess graduated in 2005 with a 2.1 in the history of art whilst William graduated with a 2-1 in geography. The happy couple enjoyed Christmas together along with the rest of the royal family at Sandringham despite reports of a rift with Meghan and Harry. The Queen is said to have ordered a show of unity between the Fab Four for the festive season. A source told The Sun, the Queen and Charles have allowed the situation to play out without overtly interfering but they both made it clear that Christmas was for the whole family to really come together. That meant the two couples walking into church together as the Fab Four just like they had last year. Yes, it was awkward and uncomfortable given what's gone on over the past 12 months. But the alternative of even more negativity on Christmas Day wasn't worth thinking about.